Hello everyone, big surprise to all. Um, I'm sure many of you miss me, but uh, you know I'm so busy uh, uh, with, with many good things. Uh, anyway, uh, I received an email uh, from a brother. He's asking, uh, you know, he sent me a video. Says somebody is responding to you uh, from long time. Actually, this video was made, uh, and I, I just uh, got this uh, email today. Uh, so uh, before we go there, you know, uh, I want to say uh, uh, to Muslims, take my advice, I read my book, and learn why many people delete Islam after reading it. And you will see why the Umullahs cannot refute my book. So how Abdul can refute me in a video? Let us see. This is Abdul. He made a video, uh, desperately trying to prove me wrong about me saying in the Quran that Allah and his angels they pray on Muhammad now he's saying there is no way the Quran saying that the verse in the Quran saying that Allah he sent a blessing and uh, a blessing is to a different word from the word to pray uh, on uh, now you know I, I don't really have too much time uh, I'm not going to I can't make the video even long because my connection uh, is not really that good uh, so I have to keep it short so I will move to the main points he, he came with. He did not quote the verse I'm talking about. I don't know why. He is quoting a different verse from the Quran. And I wonder why again. Supposedly you are refuting me. You read the same verse. Not different verse. Huh. But anyway, he's a smart Muslim anyway. And by the way, he called me uh, names like Jacko and Jack, uh, something like this. You know, I'm not going to call you donkey. I don't uh, like to insult people. I like to expose lies. Uh, but just to remind you, don't call anyone a donkey because the first animal who converted to Islam was a donkey his name is Yafur and the first one ever Muhammad he asked him about his sexual desire it was that donkey Yafur and the first animal who commit suicide in Islam actually not only an animal only even a human the first one who commit suicide in Islam period between men and the human and animals it was that donkey because according to the story when uh, uh, Muhammad died, he threw himself in the uh, in a driver. Now, we go to the verse he is quoting for us, and he is uh, proving me wrong by reading this verse. About this verse. قوله تعالى هو الذي يصلي عليكم وملائكته فيصلي يرحم وملائكته يد وملائكته يدعون للمسلمين والمسلمات. God making salah means he bestows mercy and his angels making salah means they supplicate God for mercy for the Muslim men and the Muslim women. I like that. You see, almost Muslims, they try to prove me wrong, but they give me a hand. So we will go back to the verse he showed us and let us look together, which is not even the verse I'm talking about, by the way. Uh, I don't know why, you know, Muslims, you talk to them about uh, the, the rain they speak about uh, uh, you know Ramadan you know they talk about something totally different but anyway he's saying this, this verse is very similar to the verse I'm talking about and he is going to prove me wrong from here so and this is his translation not my translation as you see chapter 33 verse number 43 he God and his angels make salah on you believers wait 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 I love this verse. First of all, he, God. Uh, what do you mean? Who is the one is talking there? The Ab Abdul will say to you, "It is Allah, you idiot." Okay. So why he is saying he makes a lot? If I am talking, I will say I. That to prove that the Quran again and again, proven all always, that, that, that there is somebody is making Quran, making up Quran, claiming that it's from God, but the idiot he forgot to speak about God as he is speaking. He keeps saying he. Like there's many verses in the Quran says, It is he who created the world. It is he who. You ask the Muslims who is saying it is he, they say uh, Allah. Oh, so uh, let us talk about uh, me. So uh, to, to speak about me in Islam, I say it is he. Ah, okay. Well, let me introduce uh, he, which is me, uh, to you. Uh, people will say you are stupid. It you don't say it, is, it. Let me introduce he when you are talking about me. Uh, it, 
the hello, if you are talking about I, you say I, you don't say he, it's he. Anyway, so it is he. Who he, the Muslim between between, between two brackets, they put the word for you, God. Huh? And by the way, I put Allah in pink because he is always weird. Uh, so it is he, God, and his angels. And I want you to focus with me with the, with the word and here. Uh, and, hmm. and uh, in Arabic is replaced replacing the letter wa, harf wa, you know, which means exactly mean as and the same as in English. His angels, both of them, they do what? They make salah. I want to say thank you for providing us with this. So he, the God, huh? he, Allah, uh, and his angels, they are doing what? One action. What is that? Is to make salah. Now the Abdul saying that when Allah, he makes salah, is not the same when the angels make salah. That can be really possible if the verse saying, he, Allah, makes salah and the angels make salah. It doesn't say that. It says he and the angels make the salah, which means it is the same action and the same act. You cannot say, uh, and supposedly your English is, is good, right? But I don't think your Arabic is fine. Uh, but we will let it go. You cannot say uh, uh, Abdul and uh, uh, Aisha, they are having sex. But when it's come to Abdul, he is praying. But when it's come to Aisha, she is having sex. That will be really stupid. Hmm? You don't say... Uh, me and my son, we are eating, but when it's come to you, eating means having a uh, shower, but when it's come to your son, it's mean he is doing poo, poo It's the same word and the same action. And by you providing me, providing me with your own translation, you cannot really get away from it no more. Because it's in front of us, both are doing what? Salah. Same word for one action. It's not separated. Allah and the angels are doing salah, both in the same time. They were the same act, not two actions, not the three actions, one actions. What they are doing, salah on you believers. So the Muslim to get away from this, they have to say, Allah, when he pray, he send a blessing. Okay. Let us go with the word of blessing, just to make you happy. I'm sure he is excited now. But, and he said, he caught for us from the Bible saying that the Bible is saying, the blessed be the Lord, uh, you know, blessed is the Lord, you know, but it's just, just wait, just wait. And he answered himself, you know, himself, he said, if you go to the dictionary, the word of blessing, it's mean, praise be, praise be. So don't mix Arabic with English. The word salah in Arabic have one meaning, and the word blessing in Arabic is totally different word. It is ubaric, you see? If you are speaking about a language which don't have different words, maybe it can be shared with many things, you cannot do that in Arabic. The word uh, uh, a blessing is baraka wa yubarak. So stop fooling yourself and lying. Same time, you are saying to me in the Bible, it says blessed be the, uh, is the Lord. Uh, and, and you answered yourself saying, but in here it's mean, praise be the Lord. Praised is the Lord. I don't bless the Lord. But when somebody in front of me, he sneezes, I say to him, bless you. Does that mean I'm blessing him? Absolutely not. Don't be a fool. You know that is not true. You say to him, bless you, which means may God bless you. May the Lord bless you. I don't bless anyone. If I say to my son, bless you, I don't mean I'm blessing him. The fact I'm asking the Lord to bless him. That's all. The, the only one who bless is the Lord. Very simple. If you Muslims don't agree with this, I challenge you to make a video that says, everybody can do bless not only Allah. I challenge you. Now we continue. The angels and the, uh, uh, and Allah is making a blessing in the same time according to this Abdul. And here the word, he put the word Salat and he continues saying that both uh, uh, Allah, he make, uh, he sent, he pissed us his, uh, his blessing and the angels, they ask Allah to send a blessing. But don't you think it's a stupid thing to say? I will tell you why. If we go to the verse we are talking about, which is chapter uh, uh, 33, verse number 56, we will find the following. This is Muhammad Bikhtal translation. I don't think you are going to say to me that Muhammad Bikhtal, he worked for me, right? Let us see what Bikhtal is saying. 
And by the way, you can choose any translation because it's still all of them they are saying a blessing which prove Islam to be a fabrication. The Muslims trying to defend Muhammad, but the more they do, the more they make him look bad. Lu Allah and his angels, who is talking by the way? Allah. Uh -huh. Okay. So Lu Allah and his angels speaking again about Allah as a third person, third party. And his angels shower blessing on Muhammad. So what is the action is doing? Both is showering blessing on Muhammad. And I challenge any Muslim, this is a challenge, to make a video says, angels can bless you, not necessarily Allah. There is no need for Allah. And Allah is not the one who bless, not necessarily anyone can bless. I challenge anyone. That is false. Allah only bless. And actually we can show many hadith about that. Uh, so Allah and angels, they are doing what? The same action, shower blessing. Mm. And this is a translation, remember. It is salah. They are doing salah on the Prophet. Now, if we go with the word of blessing, as if you are saying to me, Allah blessing, send the blessing, the angels send the blessing separately, or the angels are receiving blessing from Allah. If the Muslim, they will say that angels receive a blessing from Allah and then they give it to Muhammad, this is mean the first part of the verse is fabrication because Allah already he gave a blessing and in here it says that both are doing the same actions together not Allah doing an action and then the angels deliver the action then you will see the verse continue saying oh you believe ask a blessing on him ask a blessing so you see in here the translation is different from his translation he told us that the, the word Salah when it's come to people it's mean a pray now, when it's come to people, mean even those is asking for a blessing. Isn't asking for a blessing is a prayer? <laughs> you see how they fabricate translation? The word salah is praying to God to give Muhammad a blessing. Then we all have to ask a question, very simple one. If Allah already gave Muhammad and showered him with a blessing, what is the need of the angels and why he is asking people to ask for a blessing? Is it because of his stupidity or because of self-esteem? This man, he want to make himself the center of the world. And not to mention, or to forget to mention, that Muhammad, he changed his name from Qatham to the word, the praised one. The praised one. And you see in here, Allah praying on Muhammad, angels praying on Muhammad, and Allah is asking the believers to what? To ask for a blessing for Muhammad. As if is, all the blessing Allah he gave is not enough. All the blessing the angels gave is not enough. And Muhammad need more. So he ordered the Muslims to ask for a blessing. And that again proved that Muhammad and Islam is nothing but fabrication. This guy is asking people to worship him because he's a devil. He is the center of the world. And why he is asking people to be asking for a blessing when the verse of the Quran says that Allah forgive Muhammad for the past and the coming sin. What more than more than an open license for sin? And let us read the Quran together. Chapter 48, verse number 2, it says the following. That Allah may forgive thee of the sin that which is past and which to come. And that to prove again that the one who made the Quran cannot be God. Because what do you mean may? It must be somebody is asking God for, for, for forgiveness. This is again a salah. Somebody is praying to Allah, asking him for, but the fact in here, the supposed that according to Muslims, the one is talking is Allah, and he is saying that Allah may forgive thee. He is not sure he will forgive him or not. How that is possible? It's a stupid book again. And let us continue. If we go back to the same verse he himself, he quote for us, chapter 3, verse number 43, it says, that he may bring you forth from darkness okay just wait just wait the muslim they said to us that allah he say be and is going to be now allah is making salah angels are making salah is that an order or a request please if you don't understand me listen carefully when allah he sent a blessing why may bring you like if there is other choice are you saying that Allah He blessed them with, uh, when they don't, uh, they don't deserve it? Are you saying Allah blessed them when they are in the darkness? 
Allah bless the one who is in darkness? This is a contradiction for the whole Quran. It is a stupid book again. And if Allah bless somebody, there is no option of me and me not. Again, again, a stupid book. And you know, before I finish, because I'm, I'm sick of those kids, you know, by the way. Uh, as long as he said that uh, he chose Lisan al Arab, and this is the biggest dictionary of Arabic. I like that. Look what happened. Now, I want to show you a real Arabic dictionary, the biggest dictionary of the Arabic language. Biggest dictionary of the Arabic language. To a real Arabic dictionary, the biggest dictionary. He also lied when he said that it's an Islamic dictionary. Now I want I want to show you a real Arabic dictionary, the biggest dictionary of the Arabic language. Be my witness. This is the real dictionary, and this is the biggest dictionary in the Arabic language. I love this. I love it. What is the name of the dictionary? His title, title is Lisan al Arab, which means Lisan al Arab. Lisan al Arab. Is the language of the Arabs. Which means the language of the Arab. And by the way, this dictionary made uh, uh, more than 600 uh, uh, years after Muhammad. And to be more specific, exactly, uh, it's made in the year, as we see in here in the Islamic uh, site, 630 years after Islam. So he is witnessing to us from 630 years book after Muhammad because that book have to make it look fit with Islam. They cannot make a book against Islam. They will be killed in the second day. But as long you are witnessing to everybody and everybody heard you saying that this is the biggest Islamic dictionary. I love that. Because look what we found in this dictionary. Read with me. If we go to chapter 3 verse number 54, we will find the word Makara. Makara. If we read all Islamic translation for the word Makara is going to, to what how to translate? Let us see. Yusuf Ali. And by the way, this is where the name of my book came in from. Hmm? Let us see the Muslim translation. Look, the same word Makara in the translation come as two meaning. Just uh, again the deception of Muslims. And the unbelievers plotted and planned. And Allah to plan, and Allah is the best of the planners. So they translate the word in here, planner. If you go to different translation, just to show you the fabrication of Muslims, big tell, you will see how the meaning change. Read with me. You will notice in here, in big translation, he says, and they, the disbelievers, schemed, and Allah schemed. What does schemed mean? Go in the, any dictionary, any, uh, you know, Schemed, it's mean a plan to do evil. So, and, and, and he, 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 deception and lies, etc. So it's evil act. So they did evil and Allah is doing evil and Allah is the best to do believers, uh, do, do, sorry, evils. Uh, Allah is the best of the schemers. Now, the Muslim, they say, I gave a false translation for this. And you know what? As long as Muslim, he witnessed that Lisan al-Arab is the best of the best of the best of the Islamic dictionaries. I decide to go there and I want to listen to him. I have to, I have no choice. This is Lisan al Arab and this is the word Makr. Makr. What the Makr is? Al Makr ihtiyalun fi khifya. I'm going to take. Huh? And translate. What the sentence as it is. Copy and paste in the front of your eyes. Cunning fraud in a hiding. So what Allah is doing? Allah is doing fraud in a hiding. This is Google translation in the front of your eyes. What is the name of uh, what is my translation? Allah deceived and they deceived and Allah deceived and Allah is the best of the deceivers. This is how it is. He is doing a fraud. What a fraud is about? You deceive people. You say to them, this is a uh, this is a credit card company. Call us, give us your password. And you know what you do? You deceive them. You make them believe it is legitimate. And this is Allah exact what he's doing. And if we continue, as long as he agreed that this is the best, uh, you know, here we go. And it came in the book of Allah. The, uh, Ibn Sayyidah, he said, Al-Makru wal-Khadi'a wal-Ihtiyal. 
So it came in the book of Allah. What the mean of book of of uh, of, uh, of uh, book of Allah? Here we go. I'm going to copy and translate as it is. Thank you for agreeing that this is the best. Again, cunning, deceit, and the fraud. Again, let us continue. Huh? It's all over. وفي حديث الدعاء اللهم امكر لي ولا تمكر بي Allah do deceive for my benefit but don't deceive me so as long you admit it and you agree that this is the best of the best of the Islamic dictionary I want to say thank you and I want Muslims to keep trying I am Christian Prince and I am the nightmare of Islam and nobody read my book and he did not leave Islam. And I invite you Muslims to accept the living God, the Messiah. Remember, you Muslims, when you talk about people that call him pagan, we are not the one who our book order us to kiss black stones. When you call us, uh, uh, you know, we take partners with God, there's nowhere in the Bible it says we have partners with God. Our God is one. But the fact you are the one who take partners, you are the one who cannot mention the name of God without saying the name of Muhammad when supposed he is just a man like everybody so what if he's a prophet Moses was a prophet huh so how come you don't mention the name of Muhammad in the shahad in the name of Moses you know? so Muhammad is a fabrication trying to deceive you and he did and ask yourself a very simple question the true God he will promise you vagina in the heaven a lot of naked horny women in the heaven is that the promise of God you know imagine somebody came to your door and says to you hey if you believe in me, I will give you a lot of women for sex. What do you think? You must be stupid to believe that he is from God. He must be satanic. This is a pimp, not God messenger. So take it easy and think of it. And look and study the word of the Messiah, where he said the most amazing things nobody can say except him. And until now, by the way, the Muslims believe that the Messiah is alive. So I say to you Muslims, shame on you to reject the living Messiah and follow the dead Muhammad, who the Muslim did not bury him for three days because he thought, they thought, he would come back to life the same as the Messiah. But sadly, eh, the story ends in a different way. He was a stink, and I can show you the reference. Actually, I show it in many videos of mine. Christ is Lord, Islam is false. And please copy my videos. And I apologize again for not being too much active these days because I'm far away from home. Pray for me and pray for all. Thank you.